Today we're going to be installing carbon fiber diffuser fins on my C8 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be showing you how to install diffuser fins on my C8 Corvette. Now, I'm going to show you a couple different variations here, actually three different variations that Extreme has for the, for you. They have the satin finish, just a, like a, they call it primer, but it's a really nice uh, satin finish on there. They also have them in carbon flash, which is probably going to be the most popular one I'm guessing because of the fact that your factory diffuser, the rear diffuser is carbon flash. And then if you have a carbon fiber rear bumper, which this rear bumper is from Extreme Online Store, and you've seen, you will have seen this already on the videos on how to install these. Um, if you've got one of those and you want to be able to put some carbon fiber fins on there, then here you go. This is what they look like. Now they are almost identical in every way. I've sized them up two different directions. I checked them all different ways and I'm, I can tell you that the the primer version and the carbon flash version they are identical they sit exactly in the same spots and they fit in the exact same holes but the carbon flash or the carbon fiber version I noticed is that the the few diffuser fins actually sit inboard just a little bit more okay so um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about all of this in the video of how to go ahead and get yourself a template up here and um, I'll show you how that's done, how you find center and we'll go from there, okay? So, um, but this is what you're doing. You're going to find center and then you're going to find equal distances across just literally by taking this and moving it around until you find the exact sweet spot that they fit in. So uh, go ahead and sit back and relax and I'm going to show you how it's done. So guys, we've got the car up here on the lift and we are about to go ahead and start to uh, go ahead and attach these. And what I want to go over a few things here is that it's, like I said, we've got it up on the lift. It makes it easier for you guys to see the installation, but it is doable on the ground. You'll be able to reach up over here underneath and be able to reach your arm up. It is not going to be super easy that way because I'm only 5'5 five five and my arms are not that big. So um, I can barely, barely make them fit. So um, if you are a bigger guy and your arms are bigger, you're probably going to end up having to take the bumper loose at least part of the bottom to be able to pull it out enough to be able to get in there. Um, now, what I've already done to, to save you guys some time is that I went ahead and I put my, my tape up here and I kind of made myself a template and I figured out exactly where my center line is and then I also have my measurements from each outside edge. So the inside edge here, and the inside edge here, the inside edge here, and the inside edge here. So I know exactly that they are completely a match and that this is going to fit just the way it's supposed to. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you one of the other, the other units here. Now this is the carbon flash version. Okay, and like I just already showed you in the beginning that they have three different versions and so you guys have already seen that, but they all mount exactly the same and the package comes, some, some packages will come with uh, Phillips screws, some of them will come with little 7 millimeter hexes um, and a washer. And basically what you're doing here is you're going to be inserting a screw, oh, let's see if we can show you right here, a screw here at the top and a screw right here at the bottom and these go through where the screen is so those will go through the screen you also have one other screw right here and this is made to be able to suck the the uh, bumper itself up against this so it's nice and smooth okay and you don't have any gapping now one thing I did notice when I was playing with both the carbon flash 
as well as the uh, just the matte finish is that uh, these two they fit exactly the same and it is a little bit different than the carbon, vi carbon fiber version. They look exactly the same but the screws are in just a little bit different different spot and you're going to be moving them out just a little bit farther. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to see right here, right here where the bottom is, which is this mounting point, okay? This is also, this will get those two screws that will be screwed to the bottom of the trim here at the bottom of the bumper. But what happens is that these go on, they go onto the car, and this will butt up against the bottom of the bumper. So you know pretty much right where this goes. So what you're doing is you're going to slide this around and you're going to find the happy spot of where that fits. Okay? And then what you'll do is make yourself a little template and then you can mount it. Now, some people have elected to not drill this hole. They don't want to drill that hole into this bumper. They want to go ahead and and they'll put sticky tape in here. Now, guys, what I decided to do is I'm going to put two-sided tape in here, but I'm also going to go ahead and drill the hole. So, and the other thing that I want, want to talk about here is the fact that you want to be able to mock it up, right? You get it exactly where you want it. You've got all your marks done. And then what you're going to do to be able to get that exact spot right here in this little piece is so we're going to put a little bit of dielectric grease on here. So now what we're, I'm going to go ahead and set this one down. And what I'm going to do now is I'll pull one of these off. I'll put a little bit of dielectric grease on it and then I'll put it right back in place. And then by doing that, I will be able to pull the piece back off and I'll know exactly where the screw needs to be drilled or the hole needs to be drilled so I can put the screw through. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull our first one. And I just have this tape up here to hold this in place. So we're just gonna move this little guy and we'll just move the tape out of the way, okay? And now that reveals that I've already put the sticky tape on here and I have my little hole right here. You can see that, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease on here, right there in the hole. Okay, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, now that I've got everything marked, I know exactly where it's gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and we will put put our thing up on the trim there, we'll get this right where it goes here, and then we're just going to carefully push it into place, just like that, okay? And then we'll pull it off, and we can see our hole. Now we've got our little bit of grease right here, right dead center. We're going to take a very small, uh, I think this is like a 1 16th drill bit, really, really small, and we're going to make a pilot hole, okay? Now, some people, you're going to go, you know what, I don't want to drill this hole, and that's okay. You can just put some sticky tape on there, and then you'll, you can rely on the two screws that are going to go here and the two screws at the bottom, okay? But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that on this one, and just so we can show you exactly how it, this is done, okay? And then we will get our drill in there, just like so. Okay, just like that. And now we've got, we've got our small hole. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and we're going to go up to, I believe this is a five, what is this? It's just to make sure, I want to make sure you get the right one. It's a 532nd drill bit, okay? And you're going to go ahead and you're going to drill that hole. And that is really, really small, so we want to make sure we get it right here. There we go, found it. And now we're going to go ahead and drill through. Okay, so now we've got our screw hole that we can bring back in. And that's going to suck the, the the bumper itself to that piece, and then that that way it should fit just perfectly. Okay, we're going to do all of them all the way across, and then we'll come back and we'll start putting the screws in. You're going to want to be able to work from the inside going out because once you put this one on, you're not going to be able to get your arm over here to this one. So we're going to start with, the, like I said, the inside and work out. Now, one thing I just didn't uh, hit me in the very beginning was 
in the beginning of the video was is that I think I mentioned the fact that the carbon flash version and the matte finish they fit just a little bit different so like I said you want to just make sure that you get the happy spot for your car because this is a carbon fiber this is the extreme online carbon fiber rear bumper but if you have still had a a factory bumper then it's probably going to fit just a little bit different okay so keep that in mind because you don't get a second chance on drilling these okay so alright so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move this one off of here and we're gonna put our little bit of grease over here and you don't need a lot you just need just enough that it fills the the screw hole but you don't want it to smear all over the place okay so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna make sure that our our piece is lined up into our slots like we we have here and then we're gonna push it in okay and then we'll drop it back away and it leaves a perfect little grease spot then again what we can do is we can go ahead and we'll go back to our our pilot hole and I realize that we're using a, a very small drill as it, go, it gets, but when you're drilling carbon fiber, you want to start as small as you possibly can and with the sharpest bit that you have because it can actually splinter it. Okay, so I'm using very, very sharp bits, very small ones, and then we can go from there. Okay. And if for whatever reason, this just doesn't line up just perfectly. We're starting out at right at where we, we want to start and we can work our way upward, but you can't, you, you know, you can't make the hole disappear. So you just go ahead and you got so much light in here, guys, that it's making it a little bit harder to, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll do that to the next one. Change drill bits. Okay, and we'll go do our dielectric grease again. Okay, and we're going to do. The, we'll set this down. So you want to make sure you got your hand, both hands on it and that you got everything lined up. Again, guys, you only get one shot at this. Like that. Pull away. We've got our, we've got our hole. Sure, we get them in the right spot here. Okay, and this one goes on the outside edge of there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this one down. Get this out of the way now. A little more grease. Just like that. right there. Some holes. I kind of misspoke. We are going to be drilling some holes in the bottom. 
Or you can use some self-tapping bolts, but it does come with them if you want to go ahead and use them. Okay. So now we've got our spots here. Okay, so we can go ahead and take these off. Alright, so now we've got those. Okay guys, now what we've done after we've got our holes drilled, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our screws in on the back side just to drop them through the holes. And we're going to go ahead and make sure we put a washer on it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we'll be able to drop this one in pretty easy. So we'll find the hole here. Come on. There we go. There's one. Now, you're going to want to come in from the side over here like this, and this is going to get you up and over. Now, your wrist, there's not a lot of room in here, right? So you're going to come across, you're going to slide over, and then once you slide over, it does get a little more room over there, and you can get your hand up in there. Okay? So we're going to see if we can find our, our hole. I can see it, I just got to get... You can use a, also cheat, you can use another screw to go through it and that will give you the spot where you can find it from the back side. You can see right there how I did that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing over on this side. We're going to come across and we're going to pull this out just a little bit. And like I said, it's, it is pretty tight guys. But you can get to it. And yeah, there we go, and just drop that one. But we can get it in there, there we go, just like that. We'll grab our little washer. Put this little guy in here. Okay, got one more right over here. So, if I have not mentioned this a million times, I'm going to mention it one more time. This is one of the jobs that you're going to need to finesse. You're going to need some patience on. Um, this is, it's tight quarter. And like I said, if you're doing this on your own and you don't have small hands, then you're going to be taking this bumper off. Now, if you are considering uh, putting on one of these carbon fiber bumpers, um, do this now. Do it when it's off, right? Make it so much easier. So now that we've put our grease up here, we've marked our holes, exactly which holes it's going to be to kind of cheat a little bit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our, our screw up to the top here. Let me put my washer on. Okay. We're going to get that one up in there. take our piece here we can go ahead and we can see it from the side we can we can go ahead and line it up right with the right in there to be able to start them because you can see it over here from the side you'll be able to get them threaded get them started okay just like that okay then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take another screw washer here. All right. And we're going to put that one up to the top. Right here to the, to the bumper. Okay. And then we'll be able to get this one started. So,
we go. All right, so now we can go ahead, we can grab our ratchet, and we can tighten this up. There we go. So we can go ahead and we're going to start on the, start on the bottom one. Get it started, and then we'll move up to the top. Started, got this going here. That's looking pretty darn good, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snug up this bottom piece. And as you're tightening these up, these up, guys, what you want to do is you want to keep an eye on the the pole, the pumper, the this piece here, and just kind of tap this in every once in a while to make sure that it's not under bind. Okay, and that's getting rid of all the gap. So it's starting to look really, really nice. Okay, and then at that point, now that we've got it snug, we straighten it back out. Okay, and then we'll tighten this down here. Okay, and then we'll move on to this side here. We'll do this side, and then I'm going to let you guys figure out the other side. Now, actually, you already saw how it's done. I'm not going to film both sides. It's going to take forever. So anyway, but this is how it's done, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we'll tighten this other side up. We'll tighten these, these top ones up, and then we'll be good. Get up there. We're almost there. There we go. And then I think we're already done with the bottom one. We'll just double check it. Make sure we're good. We're nice and snug. All right. So we've got number one done. Now we can go ahead and we can move out to the outside edge. So what we're going to do here. Is we, now we've got, we're moving on over to this side right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to mark our, our winglet here, our, our fin, with some grease, just like this. This is going to allow us to be able to see right where this goes, so we're going to go ahead and still, we're going to line it right up, right, and we're going to push this into place, like that, and then we'll push the push the screen up against it from the back side. Okay? And that will show us right where the right where the grease marks are. Now, what we can do then is we can go ahead and wipe our extra grease off. And then we're gonna put one screw here down at the very bottom. So let me set these other screws down here. I'll set those down. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put one in, in the bottom here. We're going to get that one started. And then we'll go ahead and we'll be able to put one of our screws into the... There we go. All right. Looks like, looks like we got it started now. Now what we'll do is we'll be able to go ahead and grab one of these other, other screws here. This one will be go, able to go up. Okay. And holding the fin at an angle, as you can see I've got it at an angle here, I can see right where it's going to go. And then I can start this one. You can see that right there. Okay. Then I'll grab my other screw. We'll go right up here and do the exact same thing. And I can see right where that one goes. Okay. And it should be that one right there. There we go. All right, so now we got those those started. All right, and I'm being able to this side. I'm able to screw all the way up, not having to sit there and use the ratchet the whole time on this. This this top one's a little bit harder, but this gets us started. 
Okay, and then we can go up here with our ratchet, and we can go ahead and get the screws tightened up. Okay, so here you'll be able to reach underneath and you'll be able to see it. Okay, and that makes it so much easier when you can actually see the thing. get a better bite with your ratchet too on this side. So this side's going to go a lot faster for you than, the, than this one. Um, but that's just the nature of the beast. It's starting to sound like it's getting, getting tight, guys. Which is nice. Alright. that. And we can go up to the top here. Now we can reach up here this time. And we can reach up get to these bolts. Alright, one more bite and I think we're good guys. Okay. Alright, that one's on there good, nice and tight and straight. So that's perfect. So now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do this part off camera and then we'll come back and we'll do everything else uh, down at the bottom to secure everything on the bottom of the bumper, okay? As we, as you know, we're done at the top here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to secure these little guys to the body of the car. Now this, this is a, like a composite, so you can either use bolts or you can go ahead and you can use, use screws. So it's up to you and what you want to do. I'm going to use screws. So what you're doing here is you want to go ahead and get yourself ready to go. And then you want to push. And this thing is right up against here now anyhow, so it's really good. Okay, so we're going to get, get here so I can get a little bit of leverage. And I'm going to pull that in like that and then I'm going to go ahead and screw it in. Okay. And we'll put another screw in over here. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Go right here. Okay, that's one down. Then we're going to come over to this one. Make sure that we're all the way up against the body. So we're going to grab it. We're going to pull back. Just like that. Okay. Another one here. There we go. Then we'll come over to this side over here. And pull this, pull this back. like that. Get this one here. Okay, and we're down to the last one. So we'll go ahead, we'll pull this one back. Just like that. And one more. All right, guys, she's done. All right, guys, that was a trying install, if nothing else, right? Um, by doing it the way I showed you how to do it, with the factory muffler on it, you, it can be done if you've got small hands. If you've got an aftermarket uh, exhaust that takes up any more space than you already have, it's not gonna work, okay? You're gonna have to take this bumper loose you don't have to take it all the way off, but you're going to have to loosen it up so you can get back there behind it. Um, I'm going to tell you that my preference from now, doing any more of these, I will be taking the bumper off. So what I'll be doing is I will mark it, mark it first, I'll pre-drill my holes, 
and then I will go ahead and um, pull the bumper and then go ahead and drill it out and screw all the screws in from the back side. Um, it, it's not impossible like you saw. You saw me do it and I did it by myself, um, but it's, it's not comfortable, not in any way, shape or form. And I honestly think it would have been faster to go ahead and take the bumper loose. So um, that's just my take on it, guys. All right, guys, I've got a little update for you here. Um, as you saw me in, install the uh, carbon fiber version of these of these uh, diffusers on my on my Corvette right over here, and <clears throat> I told you that if it had an aftermarket exhaust, you're just not going to have the room to be able to get up in there. And you did see that that was a lot of work to be able to get those installed, doing it the way I was doing it. But as you can see here, I'm putting an AWE exhaust on this Corvette right here. And so I thought, since I haven't edited the film yet, that I would be able to show you this. So what I wanna be able to show you here is that they are already there, sitting there in place. And it was extremely easy to do so by taking the bumper cover off. So as you can see here, you already have your, your screw holes here, right? So as you can see, we did mark the other one, but you were able to put these two in and then be able to set your the, the dielectric grease there to be able to know exactly where to drill these holes. So you've got all of your holes here, and it was extremely easy to install this. So um, same thing, uh, you know, as far as placement is concerned, you still use the template that I showed you just to space it out to get it exactly even, right? Uh, and you don't have to use a template if you don't want to, but you, you, this way you get the exact spacing all the way across, and then it's literally a matter of just putting your screws in from behind, and it makes it so much easier. But uh, I just wanted to go ahead and show you that, give you a little update, um, as I'm just now getting ready to get this video edited, and I just thought it would be so much easier for you guys knowing that uh, you can just take the bumper off. And uh, it's in, even though you've got to take the bumper off, it just saves so much more time and you don't end up scratching up your arms or and hurting yourself at all. Okay, so anyway, uh, now you know two different ways to install these. And like I said, uh, you saw in the video, I did the, the first part of the video, these were the carbon fiber ones that went on my car over there. And then these are the carbon flash ones that actually mat, uh, match um, the bottom of the bumper here. So you can see that that's an exact match to the factory diffuser that's at the bottom of the car. So there we go, guys. All right, hopefully that helps. So here's the carbon flash version that I just showed you on the back side of this bumper, but I wanted you to see what it looks like when it's installed. I can tell you this, this looks awesome. I mean, the weave is identical to the, to the, to the regular bumper itself. Everything about it lines up, it works really well, it looks great. I can't be happier with the outcome at the end, but I can tell you, it was a long time to do it. And as you saw, I did one side. I didn't want to bore you with doing the other side, uh, you know, but um, it's not that hard of a deal. And if you have smaller hands, it's great. But if you've got bigger hands, you're just not going to be able to get in there. And you're going to see that or you will have already seen that in the in the video. So, um, but if you guys decide that you want to get one of these for your for your car, be sure to reach out to Extreme Online Store. I'm going to put that information right here up on the screen, or you can go ahead and reach out to me at the Corvette Channel at gmail.com, 
and let me know what you're after and I will probably be able to get you a discount on your parts. I am a dealer now, so just let me know and I will give you a quote and then we can go ahead and get you get the parts drop shipped to you. So anyway, uh, that's a way of you guys being able to support the channel now is that you buy from me and that's wonderful. I would really appreciate it. Also, one other housekeeping thing, guys. We are starting to grow again, but again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Those of you that have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of all of our next uploads. And I just want to thank you guys all for watching. It, it's just, it's a, I feel it's a privilege to be able to do this for you. So anyway, guys, enough of that. It's getting late. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off tonight and we will catch you guys on the next video. Okay? Have a good night.